guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC, and today it's all about doing something on the cheap. We don't want to spend a lot of money. We want to spend the least amount of money possible to have the maximum amount of fun. So we're looking at the Furry B F36 today, and this is a $16 mini quad that has tons of upgrades and mod capabilities to it. So you can make this one as cool as you want to do it uh, for the, the minimum amount of money. So we're talking about extra upgrade motors. You can get those for about $6 a pair uh, on the GearBest website. So you can make it go super, super fast. These are plug in place. So you don't have to do any soldering. You just unplug the old motor from the bottom of the quad and plug in the new motors. Now they do have different color wires on the bottom of here and I'll show you which one goes where, which one is clockwise and which one is counterclockwise. Pretty easy upgrade for some max performance out of your motors um, and your setup. So we'll also show you how to put an FPV camera on this. It's pretty easy to do if you have a soldering iron. You can solder on a little all-in-one FPV camera video transmitter right to this quad and you can take the very top of the the uh, canopy off so pretty cool plus we can fly it indoors it's freezing outside right now and no one wants to go outside because it's snowing so we can rip indoors so let's take a little closer look at the f36 so what you're looking at here is everything that comes in the box and you can leave it like this and fly it stock if you want to or you can do some of the mods that i'm going to show you coming up in the next part of the video i'm going to show you how to put these new insanely fast motors on uh, that you can upgrade to and I'm gonna show you how to put that all in one camera on there and solder that up, it's really simple. So it's just positive and a negative connection and I'll show you how to look on the bottom of the drone and, and show you where to solder those on. Now you do get four extra props with it and the props are really cheap, they're like a dollar and a quarter for an extra four if you need extras. You can also upgrade this flight board on here. It has a, it's called the Furry B flight controller and what it will do is it opens this up to beta flight. So you can put beta flight on here if you don't know what that is. That's just simply um, a software program that goes on the flight controller that allows you to tune it more specifically on your computer and make it do flips and rolls and fly without stabilization uh, like you see some of the more advanced pilots doing in some of the tiny whoop videos. Now the battery that comes along with it is 150 milliamp and this is a 1S battery, charges probably in 30 minutes or less, uh, super quick. You have a little USB charger here that comes along with it and a screwdriver for removing the screw on the back of the transmitter. Uh, it takes three AAA batteries, which I put in here for our little flight test. And you have throttle on the left. This is a mode two transmitter. It has a few different functions on here, not a lot, um, but we can go ahead and uh, power that up because I have batteries in it. But aside from all of this, let's go ahead and pop the top on this and I'll show you how to do these upgrades. And once we get these new motors on here, I'll show you how it flies. Um, but right away, looking at this one compared to some of the other ones, this one has definitely has an upgraded antenna stem on here. It looks way more durable than some of the other copper ones, a single copper wire. This one's actually coated in a thick plastic coating and it also has a thicker braid and gauge in here too so this one's not gonna snap off on you and it looks to be a little bit longer than some of the other ones uh, also i noticed that it doesn't have plug and play motors on the bottom of here so i'm going to show you how to take these off and put the new wires on there uh, pretty simple with a, a fine tip soldering pin and we'll do that next for you but first what i want to do is charge up this battery i'm gonna fly it stock so you can see how it's fly stock and I'll do a punch out and all that good stuff for you right here on the bench. Okay, so I have it next to my iPhone 6 Plus here. You can kind of see how small it is, but we'll go ahead and test out the stock setup on this Furry B F36 for you. And I'll plug in the drone first because that's the way this one likes to be plugged in. Make sure it's sitting on a flat and level surface pretty quickly after you plug it in. And it's going to start flashing like that. Now turn on your transmitter and you'll see it flash quickly. Now you want to, oh, we don't even have to do an arm situation here with this stick. Normally sometimes you have to put the throttle stick all the way up and then down to arm it, but this one's perfectly bound from the factory, so that's pretty cool. So I'll go ahead and show you, I'll do a quick takeoff here. Wow, it has a lot of power. Just flew up and hit the ceiling. So now I'll be very gentle with the stick and I'll come up again. So right out of the box, seems faster and more powerful than my Inductrix FPV. 
is when I throttled up it really shot up and hit the ceiling. Wonder what it's going to fly like after we put these upgraded motors on here. This is way, way more powerful than my stocking Dotrix FPV. They do look like 6mm motors. Let's go ahead and fly around the room just a little bit. After this I'm going to show you how to upgrade those motors. Well, what's nice about these is you can fly them in really small spaces and it feels like you're flying in a huge environment or outdoors. Make up your own tracks, hoops. And there's also a great simulator now that has Tiny Whoop and Ductrix indoor flying on it. If you have a transmitter, something like a Tyrannus or a Spectrum transmitter, it's called FPV Event. You can look that up and download it for the Mac or PC, I believe. I believe there's a Mac version. At least I hope there is. I do have a PC, but look at that really nice punch out. But to make this even more fun, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to land it, and now we're going to upgrade these motors, and we're going to put an all-in-one FPD camera on there for very, very cheap cost. Okay guys, that flight test was a lot of fun. Those stock motors are super powerful. So now I have my two upgrade motors here first and I've got the top off and you're looking at it from the rear to the forward here, uh, to the forward part of the quad. And the way you tell which motors are which here is I have this one over here. This one's gonna go on the right turning rear motor. Right rear is usually what I start with because I know always know most of the time, about 90% of the time, it's usually right turning motor right here. These red and blue wires, those are clockwise motors. And the counterclockwise motor, the left turn motor, is going to be this black and white wire motor. Uh, and that's the case for all these Furry B upgrade motors. Now, what I'm going to do now is going to go ahead and take my soldering iron and a pair of tweezers here. And I'm going to take these two points right here and desolder those and pull those wires off with the tweezers. Now, be very, very cautious when you take these wires off. Keep in mind, the rear solder tab right here, this is the negative tab, and the one in the forward position is the positive tab. Don't get those crossed up because the motor might actually uh, short out or spin the wrong way. So now I'll go ahead and take a really fine tip soldering pin and my tweezers. And I'm just going to do this rear one first. This blue wire is your ground wire. This is your negative wire. And try not to touch your frame when you're doing your desoldering. You'll melt your frame extremely close to the frame. Okay. Use a magnifying glass if you need to. Um, helping hands also help out when you're doing some of this. See if I can get in there and grab that red wire. If you do these motors one at a time, it doesn't take too long. It takes 10 or 15 minutes. 10 minutes if you're super fast. And it doesn't take long or too much heat. You clean your tip off after you use it every time. It doesn't take too much heat to do those. Make sure you don't put too much heat on these because you can damage the pad. The pad will actually come off the board and separate from the board. So be pretty quick about it. Now I can take this motor wire and what I'm going to do is snip this off the end. I'm going to leave myself a little bit of slack there and I'm just going to take my fingernail and pull the end off of one, a couple of these here so I have a little wire exposed. And I'm going to tin both of those and I'll start with this blue wire first but I'm going to remove this other motor pushing my fingernail on it. Be careful you don't sever the wires because you can save this for later. Take my trusty tweezers here and pull that wire on out. Okay. And now it's underneath this tab here and it just slides out like that. So now I've got the right rear mo motor removed and the new motor that we're putting in there has a green bottom on it. This is the upgraded motor. So I'll slide the wire down in there first. 
And those will come out the bottom. And I'll gently push it down until it just barely hits the bottom. Okay, now we can bring this motor wire down and under this tab right here and then through till we get to the top of the flight controller. And if you have a little bit of slack, you can always trim it back a little bit and make it a little cleaner. So now I'm gonna go ahead and route that up through there for you. So now I've got those wires routed up through the bottom of the frame and what I wanna do now is hold this ground wire, the blue wire, and put a little bit of solder on the wire itself, tin it, and get it ready to put it down on the tab. And I'll do the same one, same thing here for the, uh, the red wire. Just put a little bit of solder right on that wire. And if these are too long, if you expose too much wire, what I suggest doing is cutting it back a little bit because you don't need that much extra wire hanging out off the end of it. When you go to make this connection, just, a, just enough to touch the tab there. So now I'll take the tweezers and I'll go ahead and do my ground wire first. And remember ground is in the rear. This is gonna be the same for the other motors as well, all the way around. You can kind of push your wire down a little bit to meet the board with your hand. Get it angled in the right direction. And go ahead and put some solder on the tip of the soldering iron. And just go ahead and heat that tab up. It only takes a moment. And now that wire's on there. And we'll take the red wire. And if you didn't get a good tin the first time around, maybe do it again. Hold it for a moment and then you're all done. Now I can do the same thing to the rest of the wires on here and the rest of the motors on the board. And then we'll add the FPB camera on top. Now, when you're looking at this, same thing for the next motor up, but in an opposite fashion. So the white wire is going to be your positive wire and the black wire is going to be your negative wire. It is labeled on the board. If you look at the board really, really closely here, you can see that it says M plus and M negative. Pay attention to that when you're putting your motor wires on. White is going to be your M plus motor wire and the black one is going to be your ground, which is M negative. And obviously blue is going to be ground and red is going to be positive here. Like I said, use some magnifying glass if you need it um, to be able to see that. So I'll go ahead and do the rest of the motors for you and then we'll do the all in one camera. Okay, now the motors are all upgraded and they're super hot on here. So now I'm gonna add the all-in-one camera and I suggest using that Furry B one. This is different than the Furry B one. It's not the same exact one. I don't have one to show you, uh, but I'm gonna put the link down below for you so you can grab one of those. They're probably one of the cheaper and uh, decent quality all-in-one FPV cams for this little tiny Inductrix, tiny whoops uh, F36. So now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna show you how to wire this up on the back of the board here, uh, right where the battery terminals are. Okay guys, now the fun part. We're gonna wire up the all-in-one camera. On the very back of the board, facing forward, this little solder tab right here, this is the positive one. We're gonna do the positive wire first. You can kind of pre-bend this down a little bit. I already have it, a little bit of solder on there as well, so it's pre-tinned. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of heat there and let that melt to that tab. And be careful when you're doing this that you don't get any solder bridging onto the next tab over on the right hand side here. I had this ground wire kind of moved out of the way. And I'll go ahead and bend this around a little bit. Get it that angle set up first. Okay. I'll move a little closer down the wire. Bend it with my finger. Get in there nice and close. Just put some heat to that wire and that tab. Hold your breath and pull the soldering pin away. And that should be good to go there. 
Now you have this antenna here, you can move this to the side and get this out of the way. And what we're going to do next is we're going to tuck these wires back a little bit. Whoops, my I did a bad solder, so I'm going to have to do that again. Let's just see if I can do it real quick here. You need a, it's always a good idea to take a little bit of solder and put it on the, tent, the tip of your soldering pin and make sure that your tip is nice and clean. And wait till that little puddle melts, and then I'm going to set the wire in there. Make sure I have a good amount of heat to both the wire and the tab. Pretty hot right there. Like I said, you don't need to hold it there long. Just until you get a little pull. I'm just going to double check to make sure that I didn't bridge those two tabs with any solder. If you see a piece, you can take your pin and sort of run down in between them. Make sure that absolutely no solder is touching tab to tab right there. Because I don't have a smoke stopper to put on this to make sure that I don't have any shorts. If you have a short, a short on this, it could fry your board and your camera. So now I'm going to take a little bit of this VHB tape here, this 3M VHB tape. I'm going to put it underneath the camera in between the board. And this will hold our camera in place while we fly. Very simple setup. So now my mods and my upgrades are complete. I have the all-in-one camera on there and I have the upgraded motors on here. And I can play around with these props later and I can trim two sides of the blades off just for fun if I want to try that out. But I have my VHB tape here holding the all-in-one camera down and this stuff is awesome. If you're new to the hobby, VHB uh, 3M, you can get it at Home Depot. You get a little spool of it, or you can get it on Amazon. This stuff rocks, uh, and it doesn't short out electronics, so it's awesome to stick board to board there. And make sure you don't have any connections touching there. You don't want to have any metal-to-metal -metal contact between this all-in-one camera and the flight board. But everything's good to go now, so I can plug it in, make sure it's working correctly, and now I can do some FPV around the house. Pretty cool for pretty cheap. Alright guys, that's it for our upgraded review of the Furry B F36. This was a lot of fun. I love this little quads. They're fun to upgrade, they're fun to work on, and they take a minimal amount of time and effort to do these upgrades. The motors were pretty easy to put on. I showed you how to do that and put this all in one camera on there. Check out the Furry B one because that one's a good price, around $30. Uh, actually, $25 right now and it's christmas time so you might be able to get that camera a little bit cheaper on some kind of a discount or a coupon code if you look on their site you can also get an upgraded flight controller for it that furry b makes it's an f3 brushed flight controller so you can add beta flight or clean flight on there and props batteries and extra stuff will be in the links below as well as a pair of cheap goggles if you're looking for a cheap pair of goggles furry b vr ones super cool goggles so thanks again for watching i'm justin davis you guys i'll see you on the next one